Rick Clough of Grand Forks and his band of buddies are on a 6,500 mile cycle trip between Grand Forks and all the way through Alaska. I checked in with him this morning in Fairbanks. Uh, we started in Grand Forks last Friday. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a three week journey. Um, we've come up through uh, British Columbia, of course, and through the Yukon, and uh, now we're in Fairbanks. Uh, we go from Fairbanks here over to uh, uh, Denali National Park, where Mount Whitney is, or Mount McKinley, I'm sorry. Uh, and then uh, then we head to Anchorage. Uh, from Anchorage, we're going to head down to Homer, uh, which is a pretty cool area down in that area. Uh, and then we're going to head back uh up to Toke, Alaska, and then cut over to Haines. At, at Haines Junction, we're going to cut over to Haines, which is uh, where we get on the ferry. And uh, we'll take the ferry from there to Prince Rupert. Uh, it's about it, We'll be on the ferry uh, two nights, three days, and then uh, uh, we jump off at Prince Rupert, and then we go through our favorite riding area uh, from all the trips we've been on, and that is from Jasper to Banff, which is called Icefield Parkway. And it's freaking absolutely amazing um mm-hmm. but you know we we've never been uh the, through this part coming up so that might we might go wow this is this is pretty cool too but uh so we're excited to be able to go back through uh british columbia and alberta and the ice Hill parkway because that's our you know one of our most famous favorite yeah, places I, to ride so, so you so you've got some long days up there in the summertime in alaska don't you almost 24 hours a day <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, well, it's pretty crazy. We were in the Yukon, and you know, I took a picture, and it wasn't it wasn't quite uh, completely light, like. Uh, and but up here, man, last night we were at a party north up here by the pipeline. It's a fundraiser for uh, uh, the homeless, and everybody brings canned goods. It was cool. It was like an old. It was a hippie festival. It was it was pretty cool. It was like a mini Woodstock. Thirty bands, and yeah, it was up right up by the pipeline. Actually, it was an easy ride. It was 3,000 miles up here to fair, and it was a pretty easy ride overall. The roads are pretty good, but there were sections where they were pretty rough. But, you know, you'd ride through it. Uh, we did have, uh, uh, if you read my post on Facebook, we had uh, some rough areas with weather. I mean, it was freezing rain. Ro- you know, there was uh, critters on the road, and we could hardly see. And, but, we, you know, we, we wanted to keep to our schedule, and we just, you just push through it, man. You just you hope you don't go down, and... And you just you just push on because we have a pretty tight itinerary and you know live to ride. It's kind of a it's kind of a we're touristy, but yet we don't get too carried away. Uh, right. We don't want to get off our bikes. You can only take your bikes in eleven miles. We don't want to get off our bikes and have to ride in a bus for forty miles to see some scenery. <laughs> we got, we got a lot of scenery coming up, man. So all right, okay, well ride safe and be careful out there. We'll see you when you get back. All right, thanks, Neil. Have a great day. Have a great weekend.